What is up, YouTube? Reverend Bob here. Look what we got here, guys. Oh, yeah. Mayflower 400th Anniversary Single Silver Reverse Proof Metal. 20,000 Mintage. Oh, yeah. People ain't picking up on these guys. I'm telling you, this is, this is nice. Look at this bad boy. Got a picture of the Mayflower on the back. Look at that. That's a nice coin, guys. Oh, man. Just opened it up. Look at that. Hmm? Some pilgrims on their pilgrimage. Yeah. Oh. It's nice. Came out nice. Planting their first weed. I mean, their first um, crop. Pretty nice, huh, guys? Absolutely a nice coin. What's really strange is you see how the pitch is up right here? Look, it's up right on the back, too, which is very unique for the U.S. Mint because usually, you know, stuff's upside down or whatever. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, it's a nice looking coin, guys. Yeah, 20,000 vintage. Really nice. Comes with a nice uh, information card. I'll scan it slow, so if you want to stop and read it, you can. Yeah, it's, um, really, it's different, you know? I mean, there's only 20,000 of them ever going to be made, guys. And this, it feels like leather, guys. I, I mean, this feels like real leather. You know, suede. Yeah, it is, it is suede. I'll be done. I bet that box cost them 20 bucks. It's pretty nice, guys. It really is. I mean, I'll tell you a little something about the Mayflower. I've been on the Mayflower. I've been to Plymouth Rock. And, oh, God. I used to do that a lot when I was a kid, you know, back when families were families, you know what I mean? Like when we used to take kids' places and do things together and run and play without masks on. Remember those days? <laughs> I know. Uh, don't get started. <laughs> I just had to say it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I wanted to bring this to you, a little short video on the Mayflower 400th Anniversary Silver Reverse Proof. Kind of cool. You know, I, I couldn't get the 75th Anniversary... Um, oh, hold on a second. I ha I couldn't get the 75th anniversary uh, V75 silver dollar. So, I said, well, I'll get one of these. Only 20,000 of them ever minted, so why not? We'll get one. Right? I got some really cool stuff going on too, guys. I got all kinds of stuff going on. I got some jewelry I ran into that eventually I'm going to uh, probably send out to Can Can for auction that I picked up that's hard to come by that I'm only going to offer this stuff to the family I'm not going to um, through my family and friends I'm not going to offer it on the open market because of what it is but you'll see that soon um, now, by the way I'm going to send out a bunch of stuff actually it's all packed up and ready to go uh, I had about $400 in uh, giveaways that I'm going to have Can Can give out during Christmas time. Um, as a thank you because uh, he's going to do an auction for me for uh, local charities that I do every year. It's been kind of tough on me to be able to just come out of my pocket this year. So Can Can, <coughs> thank you brother, appreciate it. 
he's going to do an auction for me. And I know that some of the other brothers and sisters are going to help me out with that. And I really appreciate everything you do for me ahead of time. I just want to thank you guys. Um, it means the world to me and it will mean the world to these families. So you'll be seeing that very soon. It'll ship out here next week. And then I got um, one ukulele that will be up for auction. And possibly two. Because um, a friend of mine, uh, Mike Panucci, um, his little princess, he wants one made for her. And I wasn't going to make any more. Um, so, but for him, you know, he's been a special guy. He helps out a lot of people. He's a good friend. So, I said I'd do one for him too. And I'll be bringing you a shot of that once I'm done with it. I've already started building it. Hopefully I can have it done within the next week or so. And get it out to him for Christmas time. So, stay tuned for that video. And then I got a couple more coin videos coming up. So, and a guitar. That I've been building. Which I will show you. That nobody's seen yet. Not even can can. So anyways guys. I love you all. Take care. Have a safe and happy holiday. If I don't get get back to you in time. Maybe I can do a quick video from the family. From my uh, Thanksgiving. Be safe guys. You know. Think about what you're doing. You know. And. By God, if you want to have a holiday, have a holiday. If you want to have your friends over, your family, then you should do that. But just be smart about it, you know. If they're sick, tell them to stay at home. If they're not, you know, hey, it's about families, all right? We ain't going to let no uh, virus or anything stop us from our families, ever. Never. War hasn't stopped us. Famine hasn't stopped us. Growing pains ain't stopped us. This won't neither. Anyways, God bless you all. Take care. Be diverse today. You know, maybe you get something out of it. Maybe you won't. You don't have to be a religious person. Or you don't even have to be a Christian to get a little information out of the book. You know, a lot of my friends ain't. They can, they're agnostic or, or atheist. They're, you know, they don't have any faith. And people say to me all the time, well, Reverend Bob, how come you're friends with them? Oh my God, because they're my friends. It doesn't stop me from loving them. It doesn't stop me from being friends with them. We just have different viewpoints about life. That's all. You know, and they respect me. And actually, they read the Bible too. They find some good information. In it. So, you know, hey, you might find some good information. In it. You know, you might learn something. You don't always have to be religious to learn something from a book, especially that book. Anyways, God bless. Love you guys. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell button for notifications. And we'll see you next time. Reverend Bob is out of here. See you guys.